200,000 travelers are expected to come through the airport on Monday and Wednesday, two of the most busiest travel days of the year. So let me give you a look at security right now. They just opened up a couple of more lanes right now. It's moving pretty fast, but it's getting a little bit more crowded. Flight Aware reporting more than 100 cancellations over the past 24 hours. Very busy, though, more than I expected. It's a strategy, flying on the holiday or the day after. It was full. While this isn't the busiest travel day, flight cancellations were an issue for some. I'm so excited to get home, and then when it gets canceled, it's the worst feeling. Nearly 3 million passengers expected to travel through DIA between December 20th and January 3rd. That's about 5% fewer than the same period in 2019. Between 60 and 70,000 passengers will go through TSA checkpoints, many getting through at a decent Pace. I feel lucky. But travel experts say leave early to avoid traffic issues and long lines at the baggage counter, in the airport, and on the plane. Prepare to follow COVID guidelines, bring extra masks for the family, and hand sanitizer. We've been in lockdown for so long that getting out and traveling feels like such an event. And Kelly has this advice for anyone coping with delays. And there's always a silver lining, so as long as you can find that, then you're good for the holidays. Yeah, that's right. I remember a time when a lot of people did not travel on Christmas Day or the day after, but clearly, as you can see here, times have changed. Now, travel experts advise that you check your airline's website to keep an eye on any delays or changes for your departure or arrival. Reporting live at DIA, Shal Turner, Fox 31.